Hi, welcome to Spinnaker training series. In our previous video, we have uh, created and deployed Spinnaker using Vagrant scripts. But we had some issues over there, like uh, the Spinnaker was open just like that without any authentication. So in this video, we can address that using GitHub authentication. So in our demo today, we will deploy Spinnaker on AWS instance. And after deploying, we will make sure Spinnaker will redirect you to GitHub as a login authentication. And for that, we're going to use OAuth authentication token. So let us begin how to deploy uh, Spinnaker in AWS as an EC2 instance and how to configure uh, GitHub as an authentication instance. So for that, uh, you need to have an infrastructure in built or uh, instance needs to be built on under EC2. I've already created here. So uh, and you can access this uh, newly created machine using the public IP. So let me log into that machine. So I already copied the PEM files over here. So I'm going to SSH to it. SSH I and my PEM key. It is an Ubuntu box. So Ubuntu is the username and the IP address of that instance. Yes. All right. So now you're logged in now. So um, you should clone and uh, git URL. So the git URL is this one. I've already pre-configured some of the scripts in the git. So just simply clone this URL. It's a public URL. So anyone who wants to try out can try this out. So navigate to OpsMX Spinnaker tutorial folder. And inside, there is a folder called scripts. So under that, we have a file called spinnaker install oauth.sh. So I'm going to open that file. So, so if you see here, um, I had after installing spinnaker, I'm enabling oauth tokens, which uh, will be authenticated via Git. So the same configuration and the same text are copied on my Sublime text editor. So what we're going to do after installing Spinnaker is we're going to use halyard, hal command to configure security authentication as an OAuth token with client ID, client secret, and the provider, which I will be uh, explaining you in detail in the same video in some time. After, after adding this information under the hal config, we will enable it. And then whenever when, try, when a user tries to access the Spinnaker, which you are installing, will be redirect to the redirect URL. So there are some three variables which are required, which we will be creating right now. To create client IDs, client secret IDs, and the providers and redirect URL, you should be having a GitHub account. So I've already uh, logged into my GitHub account over here. This is my personal Git. Um, if you don't have a Git account, please create your cell phone Git account and go to your GitHub settings, navigate to a developer setting, and uh, select OAuth application. So this will ask you to register a new application. So we will register a new application right now. So click on register new application. And I'm going to give a name as uh, YouTube Spinnaker Test. This is the demo application and the URL, so uh, so the URL which your application homepage. So after deploying Spinnaker, you will have a public IP address colon 9000, right? So let me copy that uh, IP address again. So this is the public IP and go to your authentication URL, HTTP colon slash slash paste colon. So if you have a doubt it's this is like uh, 8084 is an authentication url i use for it so replace it with this one simply copy this url and paste it under your authorization callback url as well and register the application upon registering you will get the client id and client secret so this is what the variable you are you are in need of so as you see here on the text pad so let me minimize this one and uh, I'll hover it here. So we need a client ID to configure uh, uh, OAuth as an authentication for Spinnaker. So client ID is this one. And for client secret, we use this one. 
and for provider so we're going to use provider as a github similar way we can have multiple providers like aws azure and google and github so since it's since for the demo i'm going to use a github provider so use a github as a provider and uh, if you see here we ask for redirect url so the redirect url is supposed to be this one this is your redirect url so let us see how to deploy and see how the installation using the opsnx script so uh, since i've already logged into this machine uh, we already cloned it just the rem run the command called uh, uh, the run the script called uh, spinnaker install.oauth script the script is automatically asking you to enter your client id which is this is your client id so i'm gonna do here so this is my client id copy my client id which you recently registered on your github paste it over here enter and then it'll ask you for the client secret this is your client secret copy and paste it on the newly created aws instance enter it will ask you to enter the provider details so in this demo we have uh, taken github as a provider so type github and enter and it will ask you to enter the redirect url so the redirect url is this one so i'm going to copy this redirect url and that's it and it will ask you to enter the spinnaker version which you want to deploy so I'm going to deploy Spinnaker version 1.17.4, which was in the previous uh, video as well. So I'm going to deploy that one. So these are the prerequisites to run or use our OpsMX script. So once you have been um, given, given all the necessary uh, detail, uh, this will um, deploy Spinnaker. And after deploying Spinnaker, these settings will be configured like uh, using HAL config, uh, OAuth will be enabled and the script will make sure whatever settings you have enabled will be uh, on that machine. So I can I can give you an overview how the script actually uh, looks like. So it's under uh, OpsMX Spinnaker tutorial, navigate to that. This is the same um, git I cloned under the scripts, this is the file. So if you see here, it requires to enter all your um, uh, inputs once all the inputs and everything is uh, completed it install uh, spinnaker and after installing spinnaker it will configure your oauth uh, enable and redirect url and then deploy the spinnaker using uh, halia deploy so yeah with this we can able to deploy spinnaker with github and oauth authentication so this will take about like 10, 15 minutes because I'm, I'm running the installation of Spinnaker in AWS. So internet is pretty good over there. So it depends upon your internet and the region, uh, the time may vary. So I'm gonna pass for a while and once the installation is successfully completed, I'm gonna resume it. All right, it, it took about like uh, close to uh, seven to eight minutes, I guess. Uh, so we had successfully installed Spinnaker and then after uh, deploying Spinnaker, we had enabled uh, GitHub as an OAuth authentication. So uh, to verify it, open your browser and I'm going to uh, just copy the public IP of that particular instance, copy it and uh, open a new uh, private window, paste with colon 9000. So uh, in my previous video, if you noticed, when we give this username and uh, port number, it directly logs in into a Spinnaker dashboard. But technically what we need today is, so when I hit enter, it has to redirect me to the GitHub to authenticate my GitHub account. So that's what we are expecting right now. Let us see. I've given it here, Spinnaker successfully installed, so we can see the loading page. After a while, you have to see an authentication, something like that. So which, which is like your authentication is enabled. Let's give it a second over there. And, uh, oh yeah, it redirected it. So it is now asking me to enter my uh, GitHub. Uh, see, you can see the name which we have created, YouTube iPhone Spinnaker iPhone test. So let me log in with my, um, um, with my own personal account. That's my email ID and the password, which I saved already, so yeah. Uh, sign in and authorize myself 
you have been redirected all right so yes so spinnaker redirected and you can see my username is already there so that's good so we can enable a uh, uh, oauth to uh, github and access our spinnaker application and so by this way uh, we can implement spinnaker in production without uh, having any a dedicated user management for for managing this entire application so uh, with this i'm gonna conclude uh, today's video session for more information and uh, um, questions please reach us to hello at opsinux.com thank you